Thank you for clicking on the video. How are you this morning? Glad you could be here. Want to talk about a nice little cooler. And I uh, hope everybody's treating you good today. This is a bodega cooler. And uh, before we get into it, just wanted to let you know uh, uh, Alvin, I ain't going to give his last name, Alvin at Bodega Coolers contacted me through YouTube and seen my other video on my other cooler and some of my other videos. And he asked me if I'd like to do a review on one of their coolers. And he uh, gave me a whole bunch of choices, probably about 13 of them, different models, different sizes. And would ask me, you know, would you care to do a video on it? And I agreed, yeah, I'd love to, you know, but I told him straight up, I want to do an honest one. I ain't going to lie for nobody. I don't get paid. I'm not affiliated with nobody. So I give honest reviews. And uh, he agreed. So I took him up on the offer uh, from the time of the email about five days later. This was uh, at my front door. And uh, just want to talk about it and give a review. And I've got it running on my little Pecron uh, LFP 600, E600, a good little unit. If you're looking for a budget unit, not to break you up, these things right here will run your refrigerator, washer, just about whatever you want, even your coolers. But uh, before I get too deep into it, I just want to let you know, for you uh, people that's out there in the apartments or out in the country, power goes out and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a big unit or, you know, something to for a backup for your refrigerator, this right here is a good idea. Get you a little small unit you can afford, get you an electric cooler. This one even takes solar panels. So uh, right there, you can have you a little fridge and freezer, you know, powers down. At least you got enough for you and your family right there to get you by. So uh, now that's out of the way. Uh, again, this is a Bodega. It's the uh, upgraded TWW75, that's the model, TWW75. They've had this out for about, I think, two or three years, but this is the upgraded model. They've kindly made it better than the old one. And uh, just to start off, this is the box. All your cables come in and stuff. Right here is your lighter port cable. There's your lighter end. You plug this right up to the cooler right there, this end. And this cord here, which really um, impressed me, it's heavy duty. I mean, it's a lot thicker than even my other cooler, to be honest with you. I mean, you can tell it's going to last a while. But this thing is right at 12 feet. It's like 11 and a half feet. So uh, they really give you the, the uh, cord right there to reach, you know, maybe from your RV to the cooler or your car to the back of the, the truck bed or the wagon or however, but you've got plenty of cord right here. And then you got your power brick, which I've got, you can plug up to a power station or your wall outlet. Both of them plug up right here. Right there is your solar. So, and that is a 12 volt to 24 volt for your solar. This right here is 110 to 240 volt for an outlet or a solar uh, power bank and if you want they don't come with it you got to order it this is the door it's hard to get off with the cable right there but i just wanted to show you you can get a battery for this rechargeable and if you have the battery like i said if you get solar you don't even need a power bank or an outlet or nothing so you know that's real nice right there and uh, you don't have to have the battery you can just use your wall outlet or a power bank but to use the solar panels, you'll have to have the battery. And like I say, you can just get the battery, charge it up, will this thing down to the beach or the lake. Hey, it's good for four to 10 hours. Uh, on low, I would say, you know, echo mode, 10 hours. If you keep it on high, you know, if it's really hot out, you know, four to six, something like that. But, uh, you know, they're giving you the option of every way they can to keep this thing cooled and powered. And that's really good. And then uh, you got your manual, everything in it you need to know. And they tell you right in it, if you got any problems, any questions, contact them. Email, phone, computer, anything. They're, they're good about that. And I've, 
I'm really impressed how, how far they've went to encourage you to contact them. They even tell you if something's wrong with it, let us know. But this is the box that come in. Nothing else is in it but the plastic and the little wire ties. I'm just going to get that out of the way. But I just wanted to show you this. This is an 80 quart upgraded bodega cooler. Again, model TWW75. It's very rugged. Truthfully, you know, like I said, I ain't going to brag on nothing that I, I really don't think it's the truth. This thing is rugged. I weigh 215 pounds, and I'm not kidding you, I stood on it. It didn't even bow in, nothing. It actually held me. This thing is solid. I will give it that. It is solid. And I'm going to knock on it just so you can hear. These are not hollow doors, and it's not hollow sides right here. Listen to this. It's solid. It's not hollow. There's some kind of foam or something solid all the way through insulation. So I just wanted you to know that you're not getting just a cheap little Walmart cooler and they've stuck a little compressor in it. You know, I just want to get that out of the way. And the compressor is on this end right here. Right here are the vents. On this end right here, you got two more vents, one there and one here. Another one here. It's on the end that your wheels and your battery's on. The compressor itself has a five-year warranty. No questions asked. If it goes out, contact them. They'll replace it, and I'm, I'm sure they'll just replace the whole cooler because I can't see them saying send it in, but, you know, I don't know that for sure, but I'm just saying I'm pretty sure. But five-year warranty on the compressor, one year on any other part. If your wheel cracks the handle brakes, anything, you know, they'll replace it. They'll fix it. They'll make it right. It says it right in the manual. The wheels are honestly, they're not hollow. They're like a hard rubber all the way through. I mean, all this is one piece, like a hard, hard plastic rubber. And they are removable. If you don't like the wheels and you just want to set it somewhere, they are removable. You just take the screw out. Me personally, I leave them on. A lot easier to handle. And I uh, wanted to point out before I forget, the vents here, if you look, they're kind of made like a shingle. The water will run down it and it can't go in. You've got to look up. If you look down, it just rolls right off, which is a good thing if you're out, you know, at a ballpark, camping, whatever, and it starts to rain, you ain't really got to worry about your electronics or compressor or something in there getting wet. That's a good thought right there. A lot of these coolers, they don't have that. They just got little slits in them. So I will give that to Bodega. You've got a nice sturdy handle. Back here it's braced. Right there it's braced. You've got locks on each one, each handle. One over there. And if you look... This is hard, tough polymer from here to here. It's not that old cheap plastic. It's really a rugged polymer. And they braced it because a lot of them, right here is where they break after a while. They'll just crack right in two. They've really reinforced this, which is, again, a good thought. They got two screws instead of one. Right there's one. And again, look here. If you can see this, that is like a, neoprene or it's a big sleeve rubber sleeve all the way across it and down it's spongy it's a, a good feel to the hand my other one is just hard i think it's plastic to be honest with you but uh plastic or steel but after a while me pulling mine i want to be honest with you it gets to your fingers because it's rough this one here i mean it's soft so that's a plus right there. They didn't have to do that, but they did it. You know, I really believe that they're trying to, you know, show people they're the ones. I'm, again, I'm not bragging on them. First one I've ever had, but I am really impressed with it. Uh, again, it's solid. And another thing I want to point out, you know, when you pull these things, you got your wheels and you're pulling by the handle. And as you're going down the sidewalk or to the beach or the RV or whatever, when you pull... The first place to get hit and scratched up 
is your front right here down in here, especially on the corners in the front, because you're always kicking it or it's hitting a, a curb or a rock or dragging on the gravels. Look right here, if you can see that. This is a like kind of like a, a screwed on guard plate on each side. Right there's the other one. These are gonna take the abuse, not your cooler itself. So these right here has got a screw on each side after a while, if these things get scratched up, call them. Tell them you want to get you some new ones. They just screw right off and screw right on, but they're saving your actual cooler. So just keep that in mind. A lot of them don't take it. You can see it better right there. That shadow was a covering it. But that's a good thought right there. They're trying to make this thing last as long as they can. I will give them that. And uh, just walk around it here. You've got you a nice handle right here. Pick it up from this end. You bring this handle all the way in, like that. And what you do is you grab this handle, if you're by yourself or with somebody, and then someone grabs this end. Pick it up, put it in the truck or whatever. Bottle opener for your beer, but pop bottles, I, I don't drink, so pop bottles, I'll say. But, uh, and again, your battery and your outlets. Go over here. Just your vent again. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to point out. It's nothing big. But again, like I said, they're really putting thought into this. And it's only on this side. But if you look, the texture on this is like a, a rough, you know, feely, grippy kind of stuff. But this place right here. It's smooth in there and it's in inset. That right there, and I, I know that's why they done it. I mean, they didn't tell me, but I'm not crazy. That is for if you wanna take like a label maker or a marker, something like that. And let's just say this is your churches or, or just you, Mr. Jones, Bob Jones. You can make a label maker or paint it or marker it, Bob Jones, cause it's smooth. That's good. I know it ain't no big deal, but at least you can say, hey, that is mine, or that's the church's. Ain't no one going to say, you know, uh-uh, this is mine. No, it ain't. My name's on it. So that is one thing. That, like I said, they're thinking ahead for you, giving you, you know, a little bit of security with it. You can put your name on it, because ain't no sticker or nothing going to stick to this stuff. It's kind of like a textured. And you got a uh, dual compartments. Like I said, the lids are solid. I stood on it, 215 pounds. Honestly, I couldn't even feel it bowing, and that's the truth. If you ever get one, try it. If it bows on you, hey, get online, down me for lying, but I'm not. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not gonna lie to you for nobody. Over here, I've got this one set as the freezer. It's got nice springy doors and little locks. So I, I cannot pull up on it unless I pull it out. Nice, thick, foamy, rubbery seal around it gasket to keep that air in. I mean, it's it's grippy, and I can push it in. It's like really thick. So that way it keeps your cool in. Nothing can leak out. This part I've got as the freezer right now. Nice LED light. You can see good. I just stuck that in there earlier. About 20... 32, 33. I'm just going to show you real quick. See, that's 13. Might not have been in here long enough, but oh well. But you got a nice basket right there. It's cold, but I ain't had it hooked up that long. It got down to 13. I timed it in about 23 minutes from the time I plugged it up and set it in the refrigerator. It all, I mean, got down to the temperature that I wanted in about 23 minutes, 23, 24 minutes total. You know, and I've still got it on high, but after you do that, you want to put it on eco mode or low. But uh, you got your tray right here. You know, like I say, under here is where your compressor's at. It still goes down here. You got a drain plug, plenty of room plenty of room and again 
you don't uh, have to uh, have this side as your freezer. You can uh, alternate or have the whole thing as your freezer or have the whole thing as your refrigerator. Here, here at Clicker, it's locked. And over here, I've got this side right now set as the refrigerator. This is huge. And I'm telling you, again, another drain plug, LED light, basket. And I'm just going to set this out just so you can actually see how deep this sucker is. Look at that. That's how deep it is. You can tell. I'll give you the measurements here in a second. But look at that. It's cold. Again, your rubber gasket. But, uh, see, the measurements on the whole thing, let me see here, is 37 inches long, right at it. It's like 36.9, but you might as well call it 37 inches from the, uh, handle all the way to the end right there 21 inches wide and then 18 and a half inches tall okay and for the refrigerator well for this side because you like i said you can switch them on this side it's 15.3 inches tall and uh 31 point or excuse me excuse me 13 inches wide this side uh, is a 31.5 quarts on this side and on this side we've got 15.31 tall or deep and then 13 inches wide again and this one is 48.5 quarts so the whole thing is 80 quarts so people that's pretty good it's, it's, it's a big cooler this one's a monster compared to my other one to be honest with you I was really impressed with it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's solid. It seems to work great. It, it cools down, like I said, within 22 to 24 minutes, easy. Uh, very solid. Uh, I'm going to put the links to this below it and the battery in my description box with my email. But, uh, again, it's a, 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 a great Great cooler that I can tell. I mean, I've seen no problems with it. I actually love it. It's huge. Me and my wife will definitely take this to Sam's and uh, uh, Costco. Costco's about two, a little over two hours from us, and Sam's about an hour and 20 minutes from us. So that's why I got my first one. These things come in handy. You go grocery shopping. You can put your stuff in here and still be able to stop and eat and all that. And another thing I wanted to mention when you do hook these up to your car with your ladder port, you know, and hook it up. That way it's running off of your battery in your car and uh, you're driving along. You're best to put this on eco mode because it's got the smart te uh, technology in it. And it's hooked up, let's say, in eco mode on low, you know, just using enough. Because we always uh, plug these up in the house the night before. That way they are cool. Yeah, you can do it in a half an hour, but I just like to do it that way. I know it's cold. And then when you leave, you stick it in your car and you plug it up. Well, let's just say we're heading to Costco, a little over two hours away. We've got this thing plugged up. I put it on low, on eco mode. It's already cold, freezers, you know, froze. Well, we get there, we go do our shopping. Well, my car is off. Well, this thing is still running on the battery. You can leave it plugged up. But that smart te technology, it is reading your battery level. And when you, it, let's just say I, my battery ain't a new one and it's, you know, five, six years old. It's starting to get the level down on the battery because this thing's sucking the juice just a little bit. Well, this thing can read your battery. And when it sees that your battery gets so low that it won't start your car, before it gets there, this thing will just shut itself off. It'll quit using the juice. That way, when you come back out and you start your car, it leaves you enough battery, you know, juice in your battery to start your car. And when you do that, then this thing, after it detects your battery is okay and high enough, it will kick back on. So, you know, that saves you from 
running down your battery or getting stranded. That right there, people, is smart. And they're caring about their customer. I'll give them that. You know, and again, when you're walking with this thing, it allows you to tilt it. Like when you're grabbing it here and picking it up, it will let you go up. I believe it said to 45 degrees, but they prefer 30. But I think it's 45 degrees, it said in the book, to tilt because you don't want all your compressor gas and oil to kind of go where it's not supposed to go because that's not good on them. You know, it's like when you first get this out of the box after UPS and FedEx has bumped it around and everything getting it to you. You want to let this thing set probably for about two hours before you even plug it up and start it because you want to let that oil and gas or whatever it is in that compressor now. I call it Freon, but, you know, they use different things now. Let it settle and get where it needs to get, then plug it up in about two hours after you get it. That way you don't screw nothing up. But uh, again, when you're pulling it, it lets you, you know, you can walk with it and all. Don't stand it straight up, but they're saying between 30 and 45 degrees, you're okay. So I just wanted to get that out of the way before I forgot about it. Uh, it does have an app. Uh, I do not got it. I didn't download it. I use my phone to do these recordings, so I couldn't show you anyway. But I have seen it on YouTube. It's a very simple and efficient app. You know, friendly. I mean, anybody can work it. But me personally, what is so hard about going over here and just hitting a button? And I can show you now. You got all your instructions in the manual. But you know what? You can read your manual, which I recommend. But put that menu in the box, put it up, because if you forget anything, in two months, let's say you get it out of the building and you just don't remember everything, they are friendly enough to put all the instructions right here below your buttons. So, I mean, you can literally just forget about the manual, go to here, you know, it's simple, kid-friendly. You know, it's like right here, I can hold this. Now, right there, it's high low, medium, high again. I'm gonna stick it on low right now. And then, uh, see here, let that stop. Now I can just do my temperature however I want. Hit the setting again, it goes to the other one. Mess with it. Up or down, it don't matter. Very, very simple. I mean, it's all right there on the instructions. And before I forget, if you're uh, out camping or at your RV or whatever you're doing, a ball game, your phone or something's going dead, you know what? Right there's your USB port. So you can charge your phone up or YouTube or put, hook your tablet up to it or however. I've got flashlights that has USB uh, chargers. Hook it up there, you know while you're eating dinner and the cooler's outside the RV. So, I mean, it, it's honestly, they've really thought of you. They put some thinking into this thing. They really have. I can tell they are trying to go beyond everybody else. This thing is built like a tank and I'm not just saying it because they wanted me to do a review and, and I'm glad they did and I appreciate it, Bodega. But if this thing sucked, I tell you it sucked. This thing is a tank. I mean, solid as it can be. And like I said, you can, let me do the lock right there. And on this side, I'm one-handed. Just want you to see how far that comes out. You just pick it up and pull it and away you go. But yeah, I mean, can't ask better than this. They do have a hundred quart one, which that one offered to me, which, hey, no offense taken. This is the 80 quart and I love it. But you know, they've got different sizes for everybody. I mean, they've got, I think it's a 48 quart, 53 quart, don't hold me to it. But I mean, they just go from small to big. They got about anything you want. And uh, a lot of these that you see on Amazon and eBay, these electric free refrigerator freezer coolers, I'm gonna be honest with you. There's a lot of these names that you've never heard of let me tell you what, most of them are junk. I'm not going to lie to you. I've got a few buddies that's bought them, and they absolutely, in a year's time, they break down. They wouldn't work. The compressor would go out, and they would just have one year on everything. But, you know, time they broke, your warranty's out. 
And I mean a whole bunch of these crazy names that you've never heard of. And they're all over Amazon, all over eBay. Be wary of what you buy. I'm not saying go out and buy this one. I'm just saying be wary of what you buy. But I will tell you, you're getting your money's worth with this one. And again, they're backing up that compressor five-year warranty. That's pretty good. You know, anybody that does five-year warranty, they, they know what they got. They know it's going to last that long. And if it don't, they don't care to replace it. But uh, I'm just telling you, if you can stand on it, it has to be good. Oh, and another thing, and I forgot, you can switch these doors out. Let's say, like right now, let's say this is sitting in a station wagon. And I'm sitting on this side. Well, I can open it and get in here. Well, if I'm on that side, and this is against the door over here, well, all you've got to do, if I can get it, is pop that out. I'm one-handed here, so bear with me. I almost got it. Please bear with me. There it is. There. Now, see, if I'm on this side now, I can just go like that. No screws. I mean, two hands, it's simple, believe me. One hand, I've done it. It's just, you got a knob on one side and a slit in the other. You just pop out the slit, stick the knob back in whatever side you're doing, get lined up with the slit and pop it in. That's it. And both of them do it. And again, you can set it up to where this is the freezer, that's the fridge, or if you want more space, this can be the fridge and that can be the freezer, or both freezers or both fridges. It doesn't matter. It's whatever you want. So, I mean, they're accommodating you in that way. And I'm telling you, very simple to use. It weighs 65 pounds total. And uh, it comes packaged very good. Right here is the box. I'm just going to open it and show you. Because I always like to know, you know, are they just going to put a, a blown up airbag around it or what? This is on top. You can see it couplets and then down there is another one so you literally top bottom and all the corners are covered so i mean you can't go wrong there but again you know check it out if you're really looking for one i highly recommend them uh if you go to amazon you can look at all their different sizes on there uh all of them i'm sure are great quality Again, this is the upgraded model. Just new and improved is what it is. They're just making better what they made before. And you can go on Amazon and look at them. Or you can go to bodegacooler.com. They got everything there. And they're the same price as they are on Amazon. Me personally, I would order straight from the company. Because that cuts out the middleman. You're dealing straight with them. You, you ain't got to put up with these little Amazon people. Well, let me contact them and all that. But you do what you want to do. No big deal. And again, I'll leave the links uh, in my description to this cooler and the battery. And uh, I, I really don't know what else to tell you about it. But uh, it's a good cooler. I will say it. If it wasn't, i tell you. But I do recommend Bodega. They've impressed me. I wish I'd have known about them before I bought my last one. And uh, if you've got any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comments or just email me at eastkentuckyprepper at yahoo.com. But uh, again, get your little solar uh, generator, solar panels, hook up to this thing if you get the battery. You know, hey, you're set, especially in an emergency. Always think ahead. And uh, if there's any other companies out there, I'll just throw it out there. Solar generators, coolers, solar panels, anything like that. I love doing reviews on them. Again, I don't get paid. I'm, I'm not affiliated with nobody, but I'd love to do more reviews. Uh, if you would, contact me. I'd gladly do them and give you an honest review. But uh, I hope that y'all will check Bodega out. They seem to be a... a uh, upstanding company. I will give them that. And again, thank you, Alvin at Bodega Coolers, for giving me the opportunity to do this review. I really appreciate it. And I hope we can do this again on other coolers or other items that you have. But people, give them a, a look at Amazon or at their website, bodegacooler.com. 
And thank you all for tuning in. I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, uh, subscribe if you wouldn't mind. It helps out the channel. And share it if you don't mind. If you know somebody's looking for a cooler. I've got other videos on solar generators, coolers, solar panels, how to hook them up. Please just check them out. Again, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Thank you all for tuning in. God bless you. Hope you have a great day and catch you on the next one.